guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with my November wrap up. Last month I read two books, uh, two very very good books and this month, just to keep that pattern going, I read another two really good books. But I am starting to feel like my reading slump is kind of going and I know that a lot of people have said to me that it's not a reading slump because technically I'm reading but to me this is still a slump because I usually read about like between 10 to 20 books a month and now I've like slipped down to only reading two some months it's only been one so I'm gonna call it a reading slump even though some of you guys won't but for me this is a reading slump because I'm pretty much forcing myself to read and I have forced myself to read these two really good books that I'm happy that I have read. The first book that I read was My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brodie Ashton and Jodie Meadows. I was reading this as part of my October book club read with Alison from Read Around the Rosie. She finishes book in a relative amount of time but I decided I'm going to drag this out and I will take two months to read it and I did. I just finished this recently and I loved it. Although it did take me a long time I still enjoyed it every second that I read of it. It was such a fun book to read and I think it was just what I needed. It was very easy. You didn't have to have any commitments to this book. You could just pick it up after weeks of not reading and remember exactly where you were and just keep on laughing at the amazing characters in this book. So this book has three perspectives. The first one is King Edward who is the young king and his life is pretty grand until he realizes that he is going to die. He has the affliction and so he has to make a few major decisions as king and for whom will rule his throne when he does past. Then you have his cousin Jane who is his best friend, someone that he might potentially be more than friends with. It's kind of weird because it's your cousin but we don't really question history do we? And Jane here is got, always got her nose in a book. She does not care much for politics or you know all the more important things when it comes to life including the throne until she finds out that her dear cousin has betrothed her to somebody and she now has to like step up her role other than just reading books which is quite unfortunate. And then you have G, who is also known as Gifford. He is actually an Ethian, which means that he can turn into an animal, but he is unfortunately cursed. So he turns into a horse during sunlight, and so that might complicate a few things when he is the betrothed to Jane, and she doesn't even know that he is a horse. So just listening from that, obviously it sounds like it's going to be a really fun read. It's crazy and creative and I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it and I really hope that there's going to be more like this because it's going to be really fun. And the second book that I read was Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour and I have been meaning to read this book for a very, very long time and it was amazing. I'm so glad that I read it and I think it's the quickest that I read a book recently. So it was like a week and a half it took me to get through it but that's, I'm happy with that. I loved this book. And it is an LGBT book, so that is also the best kind of books. So in this book you have two best friends, Emmy and Charlotte. They are both very involved when it comes to like making movies and stuff like that. Emmy is a young production designer. She's out scouting props for a production when they end up finding a letter from Clyde Jones to his daughter mentioning a granddaughter as well. And so they decide to uncover this mystery and they run into the granddaughter called Ava and then the story truly begins there. And during all this time as well, Emmy has decided to accept the role as the sole production designer for a new movie coming out called Yes and Yes. So it is fun and intense and there are some sentences in this book that just completely warm your heart and it is so fantastic and I recommend it to all of you. I also gave this book four stars and I just, yes, I highly recommend it. So you guys have the two pretty pink and purple kind of matching covers that I have read this month. Hopefully December will be a better month for me. I'm very excited because I have bought a bunch of books that I'm going to read. Anyway, let me go what you guys have read this month. What was the favourite book you have read and what you guys are looking forward to reading next month. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon and until then I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. These characters into like questions slash situations where you then have to choose which character is better for that situation. So basically one of those characters just can't be good enough to fit.